All right, folks, welcome to a special edition of our bonus round of our Zoom Ups. My name is Michael Huggins coming to you live. This is our meetup on Zoom, bringing you stories of transformation from all over our community. I got my co-host today out of Chicago. What's up, Scott? And I am uh, on a bonus round, even though if you're watching this recording, you have no idea what that is. <laughs> but here we are, bonus we round. Are. Yep. We're bringing you stories of transformation. Go and check out our old playlist. We have over, uh, we have nearly 100 episodes of people that we have now recorded in the last 100 days to hopefully inspire you to get off the couch, face your fears, chase your dreams, and start living a life by design instead of settling for a life of default. We're really grateful for all the people who have been here. Yes, sir. Scott, what's up? Yes. And listen, if you're watching this recording, um, remember real estate is risky. So make sure that uh, you, could, you could make as much as you want, but you could also lose a bunch. So there's lots of zeros involved in real estate. Make sure you're dotting the I's, crossing the T's, working with the group. And that's exactly why we're doing these Zoom Ups. We're getting you guys a chance to meet some of the folks that have plugged in hard, have done some great things. Uh, the last hundred days we've done this. Michael, what should they do after this? After this, folks, you're going to want to get back with the person that got you here because we have some amazing upcoming events that are live for you to plug into. We have an intro coming up. We also have a, a house tour where you can walk through one of the deals that one of our students are doing and see their transformation as well. And then also we have these workshops where we dive deep into a strategy. So when you're walking away at the end of that day, you have some actionable items and you can really get a good sense of who we are and what we do and how we can help you. Uh, those are by invite only. They're not open to the public. So you do need to get on the registration list in order to get access. With that being said, folks, let's jump right into our guest story today. His name is uh, Francisco Guzman. I call him Frankie. Uh, he's been, uh, he's just a wild ball of energy. He's a really hard worker, um, but he came from the construction background and, and was just living paycheck to paycheck, kind of bumping his head against the wall. And when he finally decided, you know what, I'm going to be an investor, he's just blown the doors off the thing. So we're really excited to hear his story of transformation. He's helped a lot of people along the way. He's very giving of his time and his knowledge. So he's our guest of honor today. Please help me welcome Mr. Francisco Guzman. Yeah, baby. Hey guys, good afternoon. How's everybody doing? Wonderful. Thanks for being here. Hey, thank you for having me, Michael. And uh, uh, I forgot his name. You know this guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that guy. Yeah, that guy. Hey, uh, <laughs> out of Chicago, right? Yeah. Out of Chicago, Chicago yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys, sure. I, I'm a little nervous. I haven't done this, you know, in a while. Maybe no, you're good. this is like the third time I do. But anyhow, uh, my story is I came from a construction business. I was working with my brother in his uh, uh, countertop business, which he's very successful at it, but I was not getting anywhere. Therefore, I plugged in to watch one of those informations, you know, that, those late ones, you know, uh, and I decided that uh, real estate was the thing that I wanted to do, yet I called one of those signs that were on the road, like I remember it was uh, on Bagheret and 35th South. And uh, the, uh, you know, I called and uh, next day I got a phone call from, I believe, I don't know if it was Michael or John O'Neill. And they invited me over to, to a group. Uh, at the time it was about six years ago, somewhere around there, it was called 212. And I plugged in and once I ended the meeting, I said, this group, this community is what I want to be part of. And I'm thankful to God and everybody that uh, I was able to, you know, with sacrifices and everything, because I did not have the funds to, you know, fund the, the education uh, with the community. And it was a pain at first, but guess what, guys? Six years later, oh my God, I'm thankful that I did this. And thank, thank you, Michael, because my wife thinks the world of you, man. She thinks you're awesome. <laughs> right on. And, uh, but guys, I want to I wanna thank you, thank, tell you guys, if you guys are here for the first time, uh, the education and the community are a big help if you want to, you know, become a real estate investor. Because like... Uh, Scott said, oh, I remember his name, Scott. Uh, <laughs> not easy. If it was easy, everyone would do this, guys. Everyone would be doing it. But with, with uh, effort and sacrifice, knowledge, you know, community, relationships, and a lot of other 
things that go into this business, guys, if you put your mind and heart into it, you're going to have success just like I have. And as many, a lot of members of these communities are having success doing this real estate because there is so many ways that we can do real estate. All right. So I got a uh, question. Michael, if you can help me. Yes. Yeah, go I ahead. got a question. I got go a ahead, question. Scott. So, so uh, you started with the group. How fast were you actually into the, Were you able to actually start your first real estate deal? Well, my first day real real estate deal that I got going, uh, I was thankful. I'm thankful. I'm thankful to John O'Neill because he plugged me into with another member of his group of his of the community, and he was able to plug me in with him to bring the funds. It took me about about four or five months. That's it, huh? Four or five months. Yes. Yep. So you went from doing countertops. Now, were you still working for your for your uh, was it your brother or your brother in law? Were you still working countertops when you started that first deal? I was, yes. But once yeah. I finished my first that deal that I started with the com- with the community, uh, I even pointed out to my son and says, you know, my son, on this deal, I'm gonna make as much as I make a whole year working for my brother. Nice. <laughs> guess what my son said? What is it? Time for you to quit working with your brother. And guess what my son is at right now? Working with me. He's doing it with me. That's awesome. So Francisco, yep. Frankie and son. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Love it. All right. So uh, so you made as much in on your first deal as you did in that year. So that's what Yaku and Michael did. He made as much in his first deal, got him out of his job. All right. So uh, you're uh, are you living in the woods there? Where are you at right now? I, you're, you're sitting in your... You know, you know what? I'm gonna get out of this truck right now, and you guys see that this is the project that I have going right now. I'm right, gonna get wait. out of here. I'm just gonna call it the woods. Yeah, just you name it, Scott. Okay. Uh, I, I just came here for the landfill with my, some of my workers. That uh, we just uh, look. I'm gonna walk all the way around that is the back of the uh, the house, and actually, this is gonna be my next living quarters. <laughs> I'm going to move, my wife and I are going to, are going to move in this property. Yeah. So while you're showing us this, I got a question. Oh, move your finger a little bit. Um, My question is when you first saw this and you told your wife that this is what you wanted to do, what did she think? How was she receiving that? (laughs) You know what? At the beginning, my wife was, she said, okay, but uh, like, uh, like I said, this is not really easy to do it. I struggled quite a bit in doing this. So uh, like a a year or so into it, she was, uh, she was never up, she says, you know, because uh, I, I, like I said, I did not have the funds to purchase the, the education yet. I was really excited about doing it. And, uh, I know, but through the community, I learned to plug in with other members and learn how to how to fund the deals and and uh, and, and uh, it was a struggle at first, but after a couple of years, she really she she started being supportive, and until right now, she is very very grateful that I'm doing this. Yeah. So tell us about one of your best deals. My best deal, actually, my best deal, we just did it last last year with Michelle, where our net profit was over 150. 50,000. 150,000, guys. Nice. Over 150. Yes. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to get back in the truck because it's snowing. Okay, guys. Snowing? Keep that yeah. over there. Didn't you see? Keep the snow over that? there. Don't, don't let the snow come my way. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Keep it up. Keep yeah. it up, baby. All right, I got a question. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got a question. Yes. Okay, so um, so how many how many deals have you done uh, since you started with the group? Do you have any idea how many you've done? You know what? I think I lost count my thirtieth. The thirtieth. I think I lost count <laughs> yeah. after thirty deals. Yes, oh. I, last year alone, I did. We did eight. Eight deals in one year. See that, guys? Uh huh. Yes. You are now, now, and you, now you have guys working for you. Like you used to work for your brother. I love it. I do. I do. And believe me, I do do subs a lot of, I do a lot of subs there. And that way we can get the projects done in a timely matter, you know? 
Yeah. And as you, some of you know, you know, once you're doing this and it, you get into doing full, you know, working with the cities and stuff like that, that takes a little bit longer, the process, because you have to, you have to do, you know, you have to schedule appointments and so on, you know, to, to have an inspector and stuff like that. So I got a question. Here's another question. Has your brother ever put in counter cabinets and counters in your, in your places? He does all of my places and he works with a lot of members of the community. Okay. Especially so, like Mitch Nelson. So technically, his, his so technically your brother now works for you. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's put that, that that way as well. And guess what? He also, he invests with me now. That's nice. That's good. Yeah. So what was it like going from the contractor mindset to the CEO mindset? What was a what was one of the things you didn't expect that you had to change to be a CEO? Oh my gosh, that's been a long, uh, a very very I don't know, Mike. I don't, I, I don't have a, a concrete answer for that, but uh, it, the 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 most. Uh, satisfying thing uh, uh, that I get out of this is uh, I get to go to work when I want to and yet you know something goes wrong it's my fault some something is positive it's my you know my reward as well but uh, I, I love it I wouldn't change it and I wouldn't you know I'm just grateful that I find you guys in, in this community you know and I was able to plug into the education and apply why I study because that, that's the other thing guys if we learn something we need to apply it we need to to have results because there is no there is no no reward when you learn something and you don't apply it and you don't make a you know get a yeah. reward out of it you know yeah very action other... action oriented lots of action definitely great okay so um, tell us now, what is what does the future for Frankie look like? What are the next twelve months look like for you? Uh, you know what? I've been focusing in the last in the last six years, you know, trying to build something up, to, and uh, I'm getting to to the point that I'm just, you know, taking pretty good steps into the flipping flipping business. So I'm trying. I'm gonna train one of my my son to do what I do and I'm going to see if I can become like a, uh, I want to be uh, getting to multi-units. I want to start getting some uh, 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 passive income. Okay. Like with this one, I'm going to move into this property and I'm going to start going to uh, add more, add more, uh, another kitchen in the property that I live in. I thought I'm going to rent it. Nice. Okay, so transitioning from the active big checks to now the passive income and letting your son take over the flip business. Is that what I'm hearing? That's, that's the goal, yes, in the next 12 months. So I know it's not easy, but in my, my son is pretty, pretty bright you know, when it comes to this. So yeah, that, that's, that's my next goal. Okay, getting that passive income, staying out of the rat yes. race. Definitely. Okay, wonderful. Um, you got any more questions for our guest today, Scott? Uh, we found out the biggest profit was 150. He's done over 30 deals, uh, started his first one four months in, and he loves you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he barely remembers your name. He doesn't know me. But he doesn't <laughs> need to know I me. remember, Scott. Whatever that guy's name is, that guy down there, the loud mouth with the big uh, sweatshirt on all the time. <laughs> no, no, no. You didn't even have to remind me. I didn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, so yeah, you this, got, oh, go ahead. Any, any other questions that I might be able to like, like, as you guys can see, I'm not very, very used to this, but uh, I, 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 I'm going to, I'm going to get better. Uh, believe me, if I keep practicing, especially being around you guys. Yeah, that's it. We're always happy to train, communicate. So, to, so um, I guess I got one last question. Um, what was it? What, what was it like? realizing that you had this potential like you you told the story a little bit about hey son you know i made this money but then when you unlocked your potential what did that feel like you know what i i 
I don't think I have reached my potential yet. I'm Atta still boy. taking steps. What a great answer. <laughs> That's a great answer. See you. There you go, oh. Michael. <laughs> Take that. I got a better, I got a, I got a different question then. Let's reframe okay. that. You're hanging on to that first check on that first deal and you're working cabinets, right? And you just realized I might not have to work cabinets the rest of my life. So you're, you're looking at that check. How'd that feel? Oh, it felt awesome. You know what, though? Uh, I became a, a part of this community. You know, I'm so, uh, I'm so thankful because, you know, I, uh, I come from a background that, you know, I, I'm going to send you a picture, guys, what I was doing yesterday in the past three days. That, that's what I used to do when I was uh, 13, 14, 15 years old back in El Salvador, you know. And it's like, oh, my gosh. I, and I'm, now I'm 57, and I'm doing something that I did, you know, 40 years ago. And, 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 and this is just more satisfying because it's something that is, it's, I don't know. One one of these days I'm gonna be financial gonna be financial free, you know. And it and it just keeps me on going that, you know, being at that at this age, I'm still, you know, have the energy and stuff to do that that I was doing when I was on my teens, you know. It just it's just the freedom. It's just I don't know, it just I just feel that uh, it's it's wonderful to be part of being a real estate investor and being part of this community, you know having found this education that is just awesome, you know? Yeah, it's great. Beautiful. Yeah, most people are giving up at 57 and you're ramping it up, you're turning it on. I'm gonna send you a picture that a lady took of me yesterday, Michael. Yeah, send it over. <laughs> and then send it to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will, I will scan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but... Uh, uh, no, no. If you guys have any questions, you know, because uh, I don't, I don't know what what, what to say anymore. But yeah, I, I, I just like to say that uh, uh, any any you know, if we have any newbies in, on on uh, on the uh, on uh, Zoom Zoom right now, you know, just just you know, just think that this is this is something that if you have passion to be successful at anything, you can do it, you know. But yet it takes preparation. It takes knowledge it takes you know studying getting up at four o'clock in the morning to do this kind of stuff you know it, it just it just it doesn't come easy you have to you have to want to do it you have to be hungry for it you know because nothing comes easy in life guys nothing nothing right it's not easy to be poor and it's not easy getting rich it's if they're both hard, you might as well choose rich yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. that would be someday right now I'm not there yet I don't know if you guys can see, but it's snowing over here. It is oh, snowing. Yeah. Keep that over there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, you're, you've done great. Thank you so much for your time today. Please stick around after this recording. We got two more questions for you for the live folks here. And, um, and we just want to say thank you so much for your, taking some time away from the project to talk to us, share your story, inspire us, energize us. And uh, we're really proud of you. So congratulations. Thank you, Michael. Good thank job, you, Scott. Dude. Yep. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, folks. So it's now your opportunity to get back with the person that got you mm -hmm. here and request access to our upcoming events. We've got the intros, the house tours, and the workshops. These are amazing. So show up to those, get registered, and uh, live the life of design instead of the life of default. We'll catch you guys on the next episode. Talk to you soon.